revenue growth for MetLife Care over the last year was largely driven by continued strong performance in our resale part of the business, and that's, if you like, the core cash generating part of MetLife Care's business. But in addition to that, we are starting to see significant growth occurring in our development activity, and of course that is producing uh, good growth as well in revenue as we look to develop new projects, sell them down and release cash out of those projects as we bring them into market. So it's a bit of a combination of all of those things. Well clearly demographics are favourable in our sector, it's a well understood uh, phenomena. But we're very focused on ensuring that we beat those demographics uh, through accelerating our growth program. So we have a very strong core cash generating part of the business, which is essentially our resales machine. But growth is ultimately going to be achieved from acquiring excellent pieces of land and developing villages where people find aspirational and they really want to live. So there's a lot of focus and emphasis going into ensuring that our development activity is efficient and that we can increase the cadence and the velocity of that activity. And we're making some really solid progress in that space. Well, in the care business, clearly we've seen the landmark pay equity case. That was largely cost neutral to the business. But of course there was a flow in effect from that with nurses and uh, maintaining relativity. And of course the new DHB wage settlement for nurses is put up with pressure on. And that we as participants in the healthcare sector need to recognise and reflect in our pay rates. So that is having a bit of an effect. But that then uh, forces us to look at productivity, efficiency, how we can do things more intelligently in the future. One of the things that I think is really exciting in our sector is the fact that our customers of the future are changing. The oldest baby boomer today is 72. Their wants, needs, expectations are going to be quite different from their parents who were our customers of the last decade or two. And so we're thinking deeply about that. We've done a lot of research to understand what those expectations and those wants are going to be. And so with the new, the first of our new villages that we're developing uh, in Gulf Rise and Red Beach is quite a different design and way of operating from perhaps a more traditional gated community type village. So we see that as a really exciting opportunity and, uh, and we're very much looking to the future with our development activity and making sure that we're not designing and building for the customer of 20 years ago. Well, my first investing experience was um, an advisor giving me some ideas of things I might want to consider. When I look back now, I didn't understand the fundamentals of those companies well enough. So one of the things that I do very carefully now is try and understand, as I guess it's Investment 101, is what are the fundamentals and the prospects of that company, the quality of the management team, the potential for growth, how strong is their cash flow and their earnings ability. And so when I started to focus on that a little bit more, uh, the results became a bit stronger than they were in the early days where I was perhaps uh, investing a bit more on sentiment and gut feel, which wasn't always backed up with a good understanding of the fundamentals of the business. Mm -hmm.